Okay, phase three will be making the middle layer. As you can see, the middle layer will have a green orange piece, orange blue, blue red, and red green. But you don't have to remember all of this. Just remember that the top color, the up color, will be yellow. So every piece that doesn't have yellow on it at the moment will belong in the middle layer. Because we only have three layers. The bottom layer has white. The top layer has yellow. So all the other colors in the middle will not have white or yellow. You can see I already have the pieces here. So green and orange. Green and orange. Just put it in like that. Orange blue. One more. Blue red. And finally red green. So after this you will have two thirds of the cube already solved. All you need is the up layer. The white will be solved on the bottom and on green there will be two layers of green, orange, blue and red will all have two layers. So this is why they call this the first two layers. But how do we do this on a cube where the pieces aren't lying on the table? Well, pretty easy. But it takes a bit more memory than just a sexy move. If you look on the top side, you're going to look for a piece that does not have a yellow sticker on it. Not just a piece, but an edge, because in the middle layer there are no corners. There are only edges, which have two stickers on them. Or centers, which only have one, and the centers are always done. So you don't have to fix the centers. So if I look around, this edge has yellow, this edge has yellow, this edge has yellow. So we're going to fix this edge. This edge has blue and red. I will just turn the up layer so the blue sticker will match. Or actually not the blue sticker, but the sticker that's not on the top side. So now the blue sticker matches. And I will have this color on the right side. That's quite a lot of information. So let's say again. Turn the top layer so the piece matches. This color matches, not the top color. This color matches. And the color that matches should be on the right side. And now you can see that the blue-red could be done in one move. I only want the blue-red to be here, so I would do an R clockwise move. But that would mess up my white. Well, that's okay. If I do an R clockwise move, like this, then a U clockwise, and again, R, U, R, five moves in total, all clockwise, and then I do five counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, you can see this is coming back, R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, then the white will be done again, and the blue and red will be in between the blue and the red. There are some other algorithms which you could use for this. An algorithm is just a series of moves. It sounds really fancy, but it's nothing more than just a series of moves. But this one is by far the easiest. So let's do it again. You can look in the top layer for a piece that does not have yellow on it, or not a piece, but an edge. So we find this one, the red-green, because all the others have yellow on it. The red green doesn't. I turn it so these colors match. And I hold it on the right side. And now you can see it's almost the same as before. Only I want to do this move so the green and red will be correct. And as you can see this move would be an R counterclockwise move. I think you can already guess what's going to follow, but just to be sure, I will do five counterclockwise moves. So, R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, R counterclockwise, and then you can do five clockwise moves. So, U, 
R U R U. And now you can see that the piece is already there. The other piece we already did is still there. All the whites are still there. All that happened, or at least all that happened that we care about, are that these two pieces are now correct. So let's move to number three. Well, now we have sort of a problem, but that's good for in a tutorial. As you can see, on the top layer, these two stickers already have yellow, another yellow, another yellow. So in the top layer, there are no stickers or no pieces, no edges that belong in the middle layer. So what should we do? Well, quite easy. We just pretend that this is a sticker or a piece or an edge that we want here or here. So let's do that. Let's pretend we want this one here and then this piece has to go somewhere and I'm pretty sure that it will end up in the up layer. So to make this piece go here I would do an R counterclockwise so I will also do a U counterclockwise R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, R counterclockwise that was 5 so now 5 clockwise U, R, U, R, U and as you can see the piece that was here the yellow green is now here and the green orange that we were interested in is now somewhere in the up layer actually it's here and now we can use the trick we already did before we can match this color hold it on the right side this piece should go here so I will do R and because that's a clockwise move I will also do U R U R and then 5 counterclockwise moves U counterclockwise, R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise so the orange, P, orange green piece is now in place everything else is still done and we look in the top layer for another piece we have bad luck again this piece is already uh, in the middle layer it's just the wrong way well we just pretend that this piece needs to go here so I'm going to do it a bit faster now you've seen it enough R U R U R and back U prime R prime U prime R prime U prime now you can see that the piece we were interested in the blue orange is now in the top layer we turn it so the blue matches here we want it to go here R prime U prime R prime U prime R prime U R U R and that's it now the white is done and the entire two first layers are done just like on this cube okay time for the next step